Hi, it's Steve, and um, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in this video on how I built the, the Stanley Vat Max Spotlight that is weapon mountable. Um, I had a request recently, so I'm going to do this. You know, I did a video a couple years ago when I first built this. So I started off with just the Stanley Fat Max, and you know, it comes like this. Um, They've changed a little bit since then and send this to 12 volt. It has like a USB charger, um, but basically it's still the same um, spotlight. So here, because you have this little kickstand thing, the first thing I had to do was build a, because it only has one cross brace. So I had to put a second cross brace in here. So I just ground out these edges down a little bit and I had some steel rod left over from another thing I was working on. And I cut it just so it overhang just a touch, you know, laid it in there and just cold welded it in there nice and tight. Now the mount that we were using had some spare of the NC stars. Now the NC stars, they have these little flanges and there was one out front. We just cut the one off the front because we didn't want it bumping into it as we lifted it. And we just left the one on the, on the back here. Now, I don't have any more of those NC stars, but I do have this one. This is this uh, like a one-inch riser with an extension. But basically, once I had the, the bar across the bottom, I would attach the mount here. Now, in the front, I just drilled a hole and then used a self-tapping screw that broke right into the mount, like that. And then the back part, using one of the uh, low spots on the Picatinny rail. I put it in um, the crossbar that it put and had it lined up that way and then I just JB welded everything together and then let it dry real quick for like a day. So basically that's what you would end up with something like that. Now the screw piece on the back I originally just, just put um, I drilled a hole through the, the mount put a screw there JB welded it down to put these uh, nuts on it so I have a little elevation uh, adjustment so I can line it up with the rifle better, the rifle sights better. Uh, the first attempt, the JB weld broke off after about two weeks. That's why um, you can see the JB weld as opposed to the paint because I painted it and then I had to go back to it. Now what I did the second time is I drilled a bunch of little holes all through this back here. and. Um, had a screw already screwed on with the nuts onto the mount because as you can see it's at a little bit of a weird angle back here. Um, bent it so it would, it would kind of be flushed the way I wanted it. Then um, JB welded it down and then just put several more layers so it, it should never come off now. It's on there pretty tight. And that was pretty much it. Um, once I put it on the rifle I can adjust these nuts to bring this up or down you know, you got about a quarter inch of play maybe all together, but that's quite a bit when you're shining out like 50, 100 yards or even more. Um, so these are the NC Stars. Um, if I can find a link for it, I'll put it in the description. This is a quick release. This one would work just as well, even though this is just the screw on type of quick release, you know. Like I said, there's not a, not a lot of pressure on a 22 or even a 40. Um, I have used this on a 223 a couple times, but not for long durations. But it works pretty good, and um, so it was a fairly simple build. Um, just stuff I had on hand, and I've been happy with it ever since. So I did paint it, and um, if you if you do paint it, wash this rubber here. It gets gets gooey. If you if you get paint on it, it takes forever to like dry out properly. So just kind of watch that. Um, that's about it. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks.